Alright, this unboxing video is for my first set of custom swords. In my intro video I mentioned uh, my first swords. That was not quite accurate. I already have some swords. This is my first set of custom swords. I've never had anything custom made for myself. I got these from Samurai Sword Store, who, again, hasn't paid me anything for this, didn't give me any freebies or anything. So, it'll be an honest review for you. Uh, I found the Nodachi that they had in stock that I really liked. It had a bamboo theme. It was green and white. I think it's going to go great with my custom harness. So, uh, I bought the Nodachi and also a Katana and Wakazashi. So the Nodachi is the largest sword, and the Katana and Wakazashi are the two standard swords that are often associated with a samurai. I've been waiting about a week to unbox these, so can't wait to get into them. Pardon any uh, flubs during this here. It's an unboxing. Obviously, I've only got one take at this. And if there's any silent time, it's just because I'm super excited. So here we go. This should be the Katana and Wakazashi first. Uh... These were made in just a few weeks. They have some options on their website where you can pick out the color for the, uh, the case that the sword goes in. It's called a saya, or if you want a European equivalent, it would be the scabbard for that. Um, lots of different options for the suba, which is the handguard on that. All right, All right almost in here. It's got a really pretty wrap to it. Ah, a little sword bag. Alright. This one feels to be the Wakazashi, which is the smaller of the paired swords for that. So let's get this guy opened up. And some tassels. This is the fanciest sword bags I've ever had. Alright. And if they did these right, these should be a match set where all three have the same colors and uh, fittings and everything else. Ooh, even shrink wrapped. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so the blade arrives, uh, wrapped up, that's great, that's going to keep it from getting any ambient moisture, especially shipped overseas, these are imported, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this wrap off here. There we go, hopefully you can see this, my first video, I apologize if it's of poor quality here. I'll put some still shots up later on to go along with it. Let's get this unwrapped as well. It does have the bamboo fittings that I wanted, the green wrap that I wanted, the white scabbard with the green sagio, sageo. Um, like many Japanese words I can spell it but I can't pronounce it. So this all looks awesome so far. Plastic here. All right. Very nice bohe down the back, which is often called a blood groove. It serves to uh, lighten up the blade a little bit. The Nodachi that they had in stock had this, so I had these swords matched to it as well. Fittings all look good. There's no rattle to it. Very nice and solid. Uh, two Mekugi pegs to hold it together here. The wrap is nice and tight. Tucked in very well. That is an excellent sword. All right, more excitement. Let's flip this over and unwrap the katana here as well. Oh, the 
white styrofoam. <sighs> Alright. Let's unravel the katana here, see what this guy looks like. Tassels, another fancy sword bag. Very cool. I didn't actually expect to get that, so that's kind of nice. I know that they had a few sword bag options on there, but I don't remember that I picked anything, so very cool to get these. Price was very reasonable as well, so the bag is really just like a bonus. So Fittings also match. Excellent. Same plastic wrap as the Wakazashi, which is what I'd expect. Uh, didn't expect the wrapping on the Wakazashi, but I did expect this one to at least match the other one. Let's loosen this up carefully. It is a sword. It will cut stuff. Don't want to be like that guy on the Home Shopping Network video. Alright. I'm going to properly uh, degrease these after the video. Nice Haman, which is the wavy line to it here. These are clay forged. Very, very nice. Also happy with this one. We'll pop the plastic off the handle here as well. Hold this up here, hopefully that'll come into focus a little. And again, I'll put some still, uh, still photos together for this later. Katana. Wakazashi. Two beautiful sword bags. Ah. The Nodachi. I have been looking forward to this one. These are all live blades. They can be sharpened. They can be cut with. Um, I do intend to make a video of cutting in armor with the Nodachi. Just because I think that's going to be pretty fun. So, look for that one at a later date. thing that would be nice about this is if it was a little more clear on exactly where to open it. Because it is, it is a, it's just tape styrofoam and surprisingly managed to make international shipping without any major issues. I've ordered some uh, medieval armor from the uh, overseas from the European countries and I've had it arrive in cardboard boxes that have just been wrecked. Luckily it's armor so nothing happened to it but condition of the boxes was abysmal when they finally got here. Aha, I see. This is a top piece of styrofoam here. Alright. Different design on the sword bag, but I like this one too. I like the intricate bags like that. Much nicer than a simple plain color. Shows off a little bit of fancy stature. Not stature, status. So here we go for this guy. This is the one that I'm almost certain will be correct because this is the one that I didn't order customized. This was just an off-the-shelf one that they had. The other two were customized to fit it. The only way this will be wrong is if they sent me the wrong sword. Ooh. <laughs> ah, wonderful. <laughs> I am super pumped about this. My goodness. I wasn't really sure about the white Saya. I figured the white would show scratches real easy, which it probably will, but um, 
it's great. It's it's shiny. It's smooth. There's no uh, no nicks, no scratches from the factory or anything. This is you know, the bag stuck in there for the blade. That's uh. That's a beast. All right, sword. Hang out there. Let's get the bag out of here. Yeah. All right. Excellent. There's the scabbard for this guy. I'm gonna take the plastic off the handle. Very cautiously, since the blade is out now. Kids don't try this at home. Adults probably don't try this either. I am a trained professional. I'm not a trained professional. I think we all know that. Alright. Um, as with the other two, this guy also has a bohe blood groove here. Um, Gosh, I don't know the weight. It feels maybe four, four and a half pounds, but this thing, this thing is massive. I don't even know if we can get this on the, the camera here, but look at that. Um, it's something like 62 inches, which is a little bit over five feet. Still very light. It's not 10, 20 pounds like you would think from the movies and everything. Um, this one's also very good. Proper uh, blade wobble, center of percussion here. Fittings are still very nice and tight. Um, no issues with it. It's got a SEPA spacer here. I think that helps keep everything tight, just like it did on the others. Handle matches. Fittings match. It's got that nice little bamboo theme that I like. Green wrap. Uh, white um, Same, which is ray skin for the handle here, which I matched up for the uh, Saya here for the scabbard, so nice green and white combination for that. I'm going to slide this one back in the scabbard. Anybody who says you could just draw this off of your back is uh, either eight feet tall or crazy. Swords like this would certainly be carried by hand and drawn in the field. You may carry it on your back but you certainly wouldn't draw it over your shoulder. I'm going to set these down and then we'll take a quick video comparing the length of the Nodachi Katana and Wakazashi.